Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Scene Anatomy video. Today I continue my test of the Icon Multimedia Syntronic. Before I will release my full review on SyntheAnatomy.com, I want to share some additional sound demos. Let's start with a sound demo video with the Harpy instrument. It's based on the ARP 2600 semi-modular synthesizer. In my opinion is the sound quality of this instrument high, but I personally miss the charm and the character of the ARP 2600 a bit. The presets are not perfect for my taste and are not on the same level as the Minimod, Galaxy or Sam. I'm missing here in the library the moment where I say this is the classical ARP 2600 sound. Nonetheless the sound quality is high and doesn't sound cheap, but they need a bit more of authenticity. Next we have the J60 that represent the iconic analog polyphonic synthesizer, Roland Junior 60.
sound designer made here an excellent job and created great sounding presets. Most of the included patches sound fat and have the typical lush Juno 60s character. Above all the good interplay of the emulate roll-on filters and ensemble chorus make the sound very authentic. If you search pad sounds the J60 is the perfect choice for you. Further with the J8 that is based on a Roland Jupiter series 4, 6 and 8. <laughs> Same as the J60 library, the sound quality is great. They created excellent sounds here that covers nicely the character of the iconic polyphonic synthesizer. Like in the J60, most of the included patches sounds great and have the typical lush Jupiter sound. Also here is the good interplay of the emulate Roland filters and a new ensemble chorus responsible for the great quality of these patches. Most of the known sounds from the Jupiter series can be found also here in the J8 library. Now we dive deeper in the vintage world with a string box that covers sounds from classic string machines like the ARP string ensemble, Elga Rhapsody and more. Thank you. 
In my opinion, musicians get here a nice and well sounding selection of classic string machine sounds. The sounds are very authentic and shows nicely how the original character of these instruments are. The available sounds can be also used very well in modern productions. Last but not least, we have the V80 that is based on the iconic and legendary Yamaha CS80 synthesizer.
In my view, the quality of the sounds are high and authentic. Unfortunately, some of the presets miss the best known analog character of this legendary instrument. You can hear that this is the CS80, but in my opinion, the sound designers couldn't make even better sounds here that will do better justice for this instrument. Nonetheless, the included presets are nice, are very authentic, and works nicely with any kind of synth music. In this second video, I test another 5 different sound libraries from the Icon Multimedia Syntronic. I can say that all sounds have a nice sound quality, but not all are on the same authenticity level. Some libraries are great, captures nicely the vintage synths, others are unfortunately not perfect in my opinion. Nonetheless, I hope you got a nice overview of these 5 sound libraries. Please let me know what you think about these sounds. It would be cool to hear your opinion. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching and for your continued support. I hope to see you again in one of our next videos. Bye!